peace and tranquility. Yep, Mike Dilger discovers a Scottish wildlife project that is spreading its wings internationally. One of the greatest success stories in British conservation is the osprey, a bird that had suffered from persecution for decades. Historically, this magnificent bird of prey was widespread right across Britain, but by the 1950s, there was just one pair left breeding up here in Scotland. Whilst working for the RSPB, conservationist Roy Dennis championed the return of the osprey. Thanks to his lifetime's work, there are now over 300 breeding pairs in Britain. They overwinter in Africa before returning to the same nest site every year. And after Roy's success, other countries are seeking his help to re-establish their breeding populations. Dr. Aitor Galassa is from the Basque Country in northern Spain. Well, in the north of the peninsula, they disappeared many, many years ago, probably due to persecution and habitat destruction. And now we have ospreys passing through the Basque Country every spring, every autumn, many, many ospreys, but they don't breed there. So, Roy, passing through is one thing. How can you persuade them to breed there? The, the best way is to translocate some young birds, and when they grow up and are released, they think this is home. And after their years in Africa in the winter, they will come back there and they will choose that as the place to breed. And that first step will create an Iberian population of breeding ospreys. Ospreys are doing extremely well in Scotland, so by taking a small number of Scottish chicks to northern Spain should make the overall population in Europe stronger. Last year, under special licence, Roy successfully sent 12 Scottish osprey chicks to the Basque Country. And this year, he's doing the same. Having already collected eight chicks, he's about to get the ninth. See on this tree here. <laughs> And that's, that's a very typical natural nest. It's been used for seven years or something like that. The chicks will be brought down by Ian Perks, an expert tree climber and bird handler. Ospreys can have up to three chicks, but there are only two in this nest, which are about three weeks old. Would it represent a problem if you were to take one away? That's reducing it by 50%. No, I don't think so. With this sort of work, we have to be, you know, professional. But some of the nests we go to, we find the chicks dying and parents just push them to one side. So a lot of chicks, it's kind of natural. So we'll take one of the chicks to Spain for the project. The other chick will be there, the parents will come back, and that chick will just get more food. We've got the female circling overhead. Um, she's not on Julie Wood? No. And as soon as we walk away, she'll come and perch in her favourite perch or go to the nest. Both chicks are removed, and Roy first needs to check them over before deciding which one to choose. Look at that. Oh, it's, oh, just, it's beautiful. It's just a perfect size. It's actually gorgeously yeah, yeah. feathered, hardly any down. They're both males. Is it important whether you take males or females? I prefer males because they're more likely to come back to the Spanish release site. And if the males start to breed, they attract females to stop and, and join them. Once the chicks are measured and weighed, Roy makes his decision. Well, this one's quite aggressive little guy. And they're both perfect for the size we want, so I, I'm happy with either. I just think that one is a bit more feisty, so I'd rather have the quieter one. The feisty chick is returned to the nest, and the other one carefully transported back to Roy's house. There we go. Let me have the other one. You're okay. carrying okay. in this very brilliant. valuable cargo. OK, Mike, come in here. Now, if you... You put the box on there. Oh, Roy, look these at that. Two, these two I got earlier, and I'm going to put them in with those two. Most people have cars or junk in their garages, Roy. You have osprey chicks. Are you happy these birds are looking in great fettle and ready for Spain? These are great. The eye is the most important thing. You know, these birds have got beautiful eyes. If they're not well, the eyes are dull. For the next 48 hours, these chicks will be well looked after fed four times a day, and once they've been given a final health check, they'll be taken to Spain to start their new lives. And I'll be there to see them when they take their maiden flight in their new home. And you can see how the Ospreys find ex